What's up creator? I'm Josh and now that Sogni's mainnet is live, I've been seeing a lot of questions about the spark points versus Sogni tokens. Sogni is now a real token with real market value on the base network. That means the price fluctuates throughout the day based on the market conditions. And that's great if you're into crypto and trading and all that. But as creators, we need predictable costs for our projects, right? If I'm working on a commission or planning a series of images, I want to know exactly what it's going to cost me. That is why spark points exist alongside Sogni tokens. One spark point always equals one standard render. And by by a standard render, I mean a 20-step SDXL image. This never changes no matter what's happening in the crypto markets. The market could be going crazy. It doesn't matter. One spark point just gets you that one render. Now, let me show you how easy it is to switch between them. See this cost display here? Just click it and boom, you toggle between paying with spark points or Sogni tokens. You can buy spark points directly in the app with credit cards, Apple Pay, or other payment methods. So there's no crypto exchange needed or no wallet setup. It's like way simpler that way. Now, Sogni tokens, these are the main utility token that powers the entire Sogni ecosystem. It's what workers earn for processing jobs. It's what trades on exchanges, and it's what you'll use for future features like DAO governance voting. When you pay with Sogni, the amount adjusts based on the current market price. But here's the thing to understand. It always equals the same half cent per render in USD value. The GPU cost stays the same, the dollar cost stays the same, and so the token amount is what's going to be changing. All right, let's talk about when you're going to use each one because that's really what matters. You're going to want to use Spark Points when you want, if you want to buy them with a debit card or when you know exactly how many renders you want your balance to cover. Maybe you're working on a project and you want to create 50 variations, you know you need 50 Spark Points. It's easy math. And all in-app rewards, like daily boosts and referral rewards, they come as spark points now. But the bigger rewards, like community contests and airdrops, those are still going to be paid out in Sogni tokens. So then, you know, when should we use Sogni? If you're chasing the leaderboard positions, Sogni gives you a 10x multiplier versus a 7x for paid spark and a 1x for the free spark tokens. It can be a pretty big difference if you're trying to climb the ranks. You also need Sogni if you're participating in staking for extra rewards. But there is an important detail about spark points. They're soul bound to your account. You can't transfer spark points to somebody. You can't sell them. They are purely for creating. But this means that Sogni can be more generous with rewards because every spark point is going straight into making art. And remember, workers always earn Sogni tokens regardless of whether or not the artist paid with spark points or with Sogni. So the whole ecosystem is still going to stay unified on the back end. Both payment methods work on both the fast and the relaxed supernet, by the way. So you can use whichever ones you want on whichever network tier that you prefer. The dual token system is actually pretty clever when you think about it. It gives us both the best of both worlds, the stability we need as creators, and then the benefits of a real cryptocurrency. Now, if you have any questions, hit us up in the comments or on Discord. Links in the description. Now get out there and go make something incredible. And I'll see you in the next one.